just 13 months apart, brothers Dean and Cole Harris have shared a lot over the years, from the same group of friends to similar hobbies. But the Harris boys, as often they're known by their peers, have something else in common, for better or worse, eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE. EOE is a rare allergic disease of the esophagus. The esophagus is that tube that carries food from your mouth down into your stomach. In EOE, these foods cause all these eosinophils to basically group together in the esophagus, hence the name. When these eosinophils go into the esophagus, they cause varying symptoms from abdominal pain to vomiting to heartburn, and in little children, it just hurts so much to eat, they have failure to thrive. In patients with EOE, they're not allergic to one food, but typically multiple foods, and we really can't predict what foods cause disease. My research has accelerated the understanding of EOE, ways to monitor it, and looking for a cure. We have tested the effectiveness of a epicutaneous immunotherapy that's basically taking a patch of milk and putting it on the skin to treat and cure EOE. During the initial phase of the study, we found that these two Harris boys had outgrown their EOE, and this was the first case of patients truly outgrowing disease. This discovery represents a key building block in the understanding of disease and developing effective treatment and new treatment paradigms in eosinophilic esophagitis. So in the future, we really want to design better cures and better ways to test. And what we're focusing on right now is to help figure out what foods cause disease. So we're taking, developing a new blood test, but looking at T cells, which is part of the, one of the white blood cells in your body. We're taking those T cells, adding food and seeing what happens and seeing we can identify that, yes, you're allergic to milk, no, you're allergic to egg. And we can help design better therapy and better treatments for the future.